I secretly wanted people to come out <laughs> on their balcony so I could see their reactions and like how into it they would be. Like, I mean, maybe some people are, are not able to come out or they're not available, but it's kind of hard to ignore a performance like this happening in your neighborhood. Like I would definitely be glued to my balcony. The moment I would hear him singing, I'd be out there like just glued to what he's doing. Hey, Adam Mishan here, singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well in these crazy times, staying safe. And and with what's been going on around the world, I'm sure as many of you know, Italy has been hit the hardest or one of the hardest. And I mean, now the United States being hit really hard. But a lot of people say, and some people that I've spoken to hold this belief that these types of situations will bring out the worst in people. I like to believe that it's going to bring out a lot of the best in people. And we've definitely seen that with, you know, certain displays, like even in my neighborhood, you know, people all coming together on their balconies, playing music, doing things that help us feel connected even though we have to be at a distance right now and this is one perfect example of an Italian tenor going out on his balcony singing for the whole neighborhood and I really want to see this this is going to be an exciting video because singing one of my favorite arias run, run, lost boy. So right off the bat, starting it really strong and just powerful. I just actually recently made a video about this, how voice types really affects opera and, you know, in olden times, opera was done without amplification. So when you have to make sure that your voice projects, this is where it's really important to know your voice classification. So definitely he's a tenor. You could just see how big his voice is. And I love the video, how it's, you know, shot from him behind. You could potentially see any reactions of people in the neighborhood and just a great overall raw footage. If you want to see an uncut version of this video, check out the link in the description. And it's almost like in the midst of this situation that we're in, it feels like there's more emotion behind it than would normally be done on stage where it's staged and it's more of an act where this feels real, like just in the way he's holding his body, in the way that he's projecting, in the way that he's supporting the sound, it just, everything feels real, like it, it just washes over you, you really feel that emotion. If you're interested in learning more on how to sing, I created a resource that I wish would have been around when I was starting to sing. With the subscription I've created, you get access to all of the courses that I've created and more that are coming. You get access to all of my private lesson recordings that I have from other students so you can learn vicariously through them. And you get monthly one-on-one -on -one lessons with me. All of this is available for one low monthly price and it's a very well-rounded approach to learn how to sing. Click the link down below to get access now. And he's a beautiful vibrato and you can hear how he's not backing off the sound. This is what I go through with a lot of my students. You can't back off the sound as you go up higher. He's really singing into his voice, almost getting louder as he's going higher. Now, this is different than practice. Practice, we want to be able to practice being able to go quieter as we go higher. That's a totally separate thing when we're doing vocal exercises. I'm talking about vocal performance. So performing a song, once you've already done all that work in the background and you've been able to figure out your voice at a quiet volume and you are able to crescendo into it and get louder, now when we're getting to performance, we really want to sing into the voice. We really want to get find that fullness, that really like maximal quality. And you could hear how his voice like it just seems like it just gets bigger as he goes higher. It's just, but it's not with push or force. It's like effortless. And he hits these beautiful resonances where everything just pings, you know, like where it's just like effortlessly just whoa, pinging out of you and just flying out of you. Amazing. Okay. 
I secretly wanted people to come out <laughs> on their balcony so I could see their reactions and like how into it they would be. Like, I mean, maybe some people are, are not able to come out or they're not available, but it's kind of hard to ignore a performance like this happening in your neighborhood. Like I would definitely be glued to my balcony. The moment I would hear him singing, I'd be out there like just glued to what he's doing. It's incredible that he's projecting that much and it just sounds so big without any amplification, just his voice. And can you hear the amount of compression and the amount of cry underneath the tone? And it's not manufactured. This one is pure. It's him really crying out in this moment. It's like, you could definitely hear it. It's not manufactured. It's not forced. Wow. Listen how full that is. So, I mean, I know the song, that's the B, and that is a full, full mix on that B. It's, it's a heavy mix. So, a lot of people would hear that, at least people that are not trained, and they'd be like, that really sounds like he's singing in chest. Like, isn't he pulling his chest up? And the difference is, no, he's not, because he's keeping some of his head resonance there. In order to hit those notes, he's keeping that head resonance there. If it was full chest, it would be like, Oh, oh, it would be pulled up like that, shouted, oh, and it would just be like painful to hear like that. He's finding a split of resonance, but with a heavy dominance towards the mouth or chest voice. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. His son is there with him. That's so sweet. Wow, what an ending. Oh my god. I'm almost in tears right now. That's incredible. So yeah, I like to believe that these types of situations bring out the best in people, and I think this is a great example. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button down below. Helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see more videos like this, check out that one. You're gonna like it.